60 seconds, Jack. Okay. you go! Zero state. Doctor, you're the only one who can fix this. I don't know the science, but I know the guy who murdered Will is using you. Paul said people would try to steal our research. Paul. Hard way. It's collapsing. Move it! Move! 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 Ah! Do you think it's safe where we're going? Yeah, Peyton, I do. Okay, sweetheart. Let's pack it in. Hey. What is it that makes you so different? Are you sure you want to know? Pretty sure. Are coming. We never thought time itself could collapse and take the world down with it. for granted. Just like I took you for granted. We've got a visual on choice. Confirm target. Guns hot. But if I get another chance, I'll make sure things are different. You're cleared to engage with weapons. killer is time. It will get us all. But what do you want to know? How I gained superpowers? How time broke? A growing fracture in time leading to the end of time? How we traveled back to fix it and failed horribly? How it all went to shit. What do you want to know? The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. When Paul came back, he took away the only person who could stop the end of time. My brother, Will. The thing is, when time broke and changed Paul, it changed me too.
destroys us all. When Paul came back, he came back wrong. Older, changed. He took away the only person who could stop the end of time. Will, my brother. Paul's men from Monarch are trying to stop me. Thing is, when time broke and changed Paul, it changed me too. I'm skipping. It's getting stuck. Caught in violent loops. It's getting worse. Everyone freezes except me. Monarch has tech to keep going when time breaks. Paul knew this was coming. He's not trying to stop it. Maybe he even made this happen. This could have all been avoided. Well... Will's here, even when he's gone. A puzzle trapped in broken time. The universe is a singularity. There should be no sound, no light. Glimpses of the first prototype time machine, the origin of time travel. Something went horribly wrong here, but it's scrambled. It's impossible to crack. Come with me. We can survive this together. Give me the device. Don't do it, don't! What if you're wrong? No! There are those who take steps and those who make the great leap forward. 
those who stay as they are and those that become more than they ever thought possible. They compete and are fearless. There are those satisfied by common pursuits. And those for whom the extraordinary will never be enough. So ask yourself, will you step or will you leap? All the material in this video is actual captured gameplay footage running on Xbox One. I'm Sam Lake from Remedy. Today you're gonna see Quantum Break's time amplified action gameplay as well as the unreleased adventuring gameplay inside a stutter in time. Yeah, about that. Bad news? Recurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's getting tense out there. If I go anywhere near that thing, there'll be people in the crossfire. All right. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. Not a lot of options here. I'm gonna switch to the Monarch frequency. Text me if you need anything. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. This sequence is from the midpoint in the game. Jack is trying to reunite with our other hero, Beth Wilder, but Monarch is standing between him and his goal. Quantum Break is an intense story-driven action game spectacle. At Riverport University, a failed time travel experiment goes horribly wrong. Time starts to break down. Jack Choice, our hero, is caught in the blast of the failed experiment. He gains the power to manipulate time. He is fighting to stop the end of time and time is literally running out. In the chaos of the failed experiment, Jack's best friend, Paul Serene, disappears into the time machine and soon after, he's 17 years older, a ruthless, fanatical head of a corporation called Monarch Solutions. Jack is an obstacle to Serene's plans. Best friends turned mortal enemies. To make things worse, the fracture in time is getting more and more unstable. HQ, this is Gatekeeper 1. Sibbies are up in our Shit. They're getting out of their cars. Some asshole from Lucky Joe's won't let us search his truck. You heard Serene. We take the hard line. Easy on the trigger finger, but if it comes to it... Copy. That was a short stutter in time, a sign of time breaking down, foreshadowing things to come. That's the Monarch HQ you can see in the skyline there. Get to that pier. 
Jack can rush through time, becoming just a blur to confuse and strike his enemies. He can even stop bullets and then release them for maximum impact. We've got a visual on choice. When Jack uses time powers, the enemies lose track of him, resulting in exciting cat and mouse gameplay. All time powers are easy and fun to learn in the beginning and we are adding more power and more depth into the mix as the challenge grows. Beth, the pier's too hot. I'm gonna find another way across. I'm almost there. Just wait. I'm not putting Sophia at risk. I'll make it across that bridge, whatever it takes. We've got civvies trying to push through the line. You know your orders. Hardline. Any means necessary. What you do? I said maintain... Control! In Quantum Break, time is stuttering and breaking down entirely. To the world at large, this crisis is hidden. When time stops, everybody freezes. But Jack's powers let him function inside the stutter. Jack cannot control stutters. He must navigate through their dangers to survive. Monarch Solutions have developed technology that allows their elite troops to operate inside stutters, pushing the threat to a new level. These Cronon Tech Juggernauts have heavy duty exoskeletons and custom built weapons.
Jack can also use time powers to release key objects and characters inside stutters. In one of our earlier demos, we saw him release a scientist, Sophia Amarell, from a stutter. Here he does it to a car frozen in mid-crash and uses it as a weapon against the enemy. In a stutter, things try to revert to their initial state. This includes the released objects, smaller objects you can move around, even hazards like cars that explode. You can blow them up, but the explosion freezes and rewinds. These things can be used as weapons either by you or against you repeatedly. The stutters in time manifest as frozen moments that can shift and collapse without warning, or timelines caught in violent, destructive loops crashing into each other. Stutters are absolutely unstable, hostile environments. You have to use your time powers to survive, and you have to use them in a different way from how you use them in combat.
that, I hope, gives you an idea of what to expect from Quantum Break's Time Amplified Action Gameplay. Anybody see him? Just fuck! Advance! <laughs> Gotta get to that pier. on that dock. He may try to escape by water. Shit. HQ? The civvies heard gunfire. They're freaking out up here. Beth, the pier's too hot. I'm gonna find another way across. I'm almost there. Just wait. I'm not minutes. putting Sophia at risk. I'll make it across that bridge. Whatever it takes. Civvies, trying to push through the line. You know your orders. Hard line. Any means necessary.
I'm Sam Lake from Remedy, and I'm here to talk about Quantum Break. Quantum Break is the fusion of a cinematic action game and a top-of-the-line live-action show. The game is about heroes, the show is about villains. In the game, you play Jack Joyce in a desperate fight to stop the fracture that threatens to cause the end of time. In the show, in the style of an edgy modern TV series, you follow the schemes and power play inside Monarch, the corporation that's Jack's main enemy. We are working hard to bring you an entertainment experience like no other. Quantum Break will be out in 2015. I'm very excited to tell you that we'll be presenting Quantum Break's time amplified action gameplay for the first time ever in August at Gamescom. Here's a sneak peek of what's to come later this summer. Enjoy. I'm Sam Lake, Creative Director at Remedy. I'm here to give you a crash course into the crazy, exciting world of Quantum Prey. This is a revolutionary entertainment experience that combines a cinematic action game and a high-quality live-action show. A time-travel-related science experiment at Riverport University goes horribly, horribly wrong and breaks time. This manifests as time anomalies where time freezes and violently skips forward and backward. The end of time is coming. Our heroes, Jack Joyce and Beth Wilder, as well as our main bad guy, Paul Serene, are present during the experiment. They all gain powers to manipulate time. Both Jack and Beth are playable characters. I'm not gonna hurt you, but I can't let you go! Quantum Break is an action game with intense cinematic gunplay and dynamic cover mechanics. In Quantum Break, time breaks down, turning impossible split-second moments of death and destruction into epic stages and battlegrounds of time-powered action. These unstable stutter scenes where time freezes and skips are unique, amazing environments for action and adventure. There are a number of time powers at the player's fingertips. The player needs to master all the time powers to defeat Monarch, a corporation founded by Paul Serene. For us, this project is a dream come true. We've taken everything we have learned about interactive storytelling from Alan Wake and stylized cinematic action from Max Payne. We've raised the bar much higher and brought these elements together into one game, creating the ultimate remedy experience. There needs to be just a little bit of crazy when dreaming up uh, a new concept. I'm Sam Lake, creative director at Remedy. In Quantum Break, time is breaking down. This is just one insane, memorable moment that our heroes in the game... 60 seconds, Jack. ...will have to survive and navigate through fighting their enemies. We are taking 
things that are familiar from other mediums, uh, from movies and, and books, but have never been experienced in interactive form. We are transporting the audience and the players into this world. They can be an active part of it. They can actively make choices and affect the outcome of this roller coaster ride. In the game, your choices define your director's cut of the show. That's what Quantum Break is about. It's, it's uncharted territory. Nobody's done this before. It's really being enabled by the next generation Xbox. I think the first thing people will notice is the facial animation. We have digital doubles of the actors, which means that, that basically every nuance of an actor's performance is captured on screen. We can build more complex uh, facial and body rigs, more complex in-game animation systems. You're the only one who can fix this. I know the guy who murdered Will is using you. The thing that excites me most about the next-gen Xbox is bringing characters to life making them more than just cardboard cutouts. Paul said people would try to steal our research. It's probably the most important thing to nail down in a story-driven experience. We're able to deliver these awesome set pieces of action. We have beautiful destruction, if you will, where you can see kind of the intricate detail of little specks of dust, but the scale is massive. We have a physical simulation software that we use in order to actually really destroy these spaces. And we can run with that time, and then we can stutter and jump between different times during that destruction. A modern blockbuster movie can show you a huge scene of destruction with all its glorious details. Now, in Quantum Break, we can do better. We can transport you into a moment like that. We get to shoot stuff, smash stuff up. We get to blow stuff up. We get to ride in tanks. I know gamers are going to love Quantum Break. It delivers on the action and the set pieces that gamers love and have come to appreciate. With Quantum Break, it almost feels like a dream come true. It feels like we're in a sweet spot as a creative force. It's a thrilling, tightly paced, high-octane action spectacle. In the past, great storytellers would sit by a fire and people would come and listen to them deliver a story. And they would be enthralled and engaged in that. For us, I think we're storytellers at heart. And the next generation Xbox is our fire. And that's how we share a story. Hi there, I'm Sam Lake from Remedy. What are we doing here? We are shooting a live action Easter egg for Quantum Break. I'm playing FBI Special Agent Alex Casey. And with my partner, we are looking for a missing writer. Sounds familiar? Anyway, wanted to take a moment to wish you all happy holidays. Happy holidays and great new year. You know, it's been a tough year. A lot of hard work finishing off Quantum Break. Now we are almost there. Just putting in these nice to have finishing touches like this piece that you'll find in Quantum Break. Wanted to wish you happy holidays and say a big thank you for your continued support. Remember, better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you. To reach the surface, you must first dive deeper.
Hey guys, I'm Sean Ashmore, and this is Quantum Break. Quantum Break is an epic story. It's a story about a world in crisis, and it's really a story about destiny. It's exciting as an actor to be a part of a game that has a focus on character and performance. Not only do you do the character preparation and study, you also have to be completely digitally scanned and placed into a video game. Having a virtual body, essentially, is a completely foreign sort of technique for me. I think it's pushing my boundaries. Where is he? Where's my brother? Well, working with the other actors has been really cool. We've just started talking about these relationships. We've just started delving into who these characters are and how they'll interact. The game is gonna influence the show and vice versa. No. Uh, I think it's a really unique way of storytelling that's gonna bring the game player deeper into the characters. Xbox Live's Major Nelson here with Aaron Greenberg from uh, Xbox. Aaron, great to see you. It's good to be here, Larry. Thank you. A lot of quantum break news dropped today. Can you summarize it real quickly and then we'll, we'll get right into it? Well, we do have a lot of news. I mean, first, we're just months away from the release of Quantum Break on April 5th. We've got uh, kind of our first look at the title. We've got a brand new spot that we're releasing today. We've got uh, some press previews that are coming out. We brought a group of media out to see the game. We've got a brand new limited edition Quantum Break bundle, and we've got some exciting news for Windows 10 fans as well. Now you're also doing something beyond the video game. There's also this, this other component. Let's, let's talk about that. So the game, uh, play you play as a hero in the game. So you play as Jack Joyce, uh, who uh, we're really fortunate to get to work with, Sean Ashmore, people know him from uh, the X-Men. Uh, and so he's the lead character, you play as the hero. But there is this evil corporation, Monarch, and uh, when you go, when you finish uh, an act, and then you'll go into and actually be able to watch a TV show type experience that built on what you just played through. You know, we've got a great cast of folks from people that you may have seen in Game of Thrones or The Wire, and, and so that's where you go and see the other side. So you see kind of it from the side of the villains. And so what's really neat about just how a movie is told or how a TV show might be made, they're applying the same type of dynamic in creating this, this story uh, in Quantum Break, is that you get to both play as a hero but also see it from the other side, which for me as a gamer is uh, something I've never seen before. Aaron, there was also a great ad that dropped this week as well. Let's talk about that. Yes, we have been working on something that's really unique. I think gives people a sense of what the game is going to be like. Uh, it's a live action piece. It features Sean Ashmore. Uh, the ad's called uh, The Cemetery. And uh, it gives you a little bit of sense of uh, time stutters and being able to control and manipulate time and how that can change the outcome of the game. And we'd love to hear what fans think of it. Tell us about the limited edition hardware bundle for Quantum Break. So the limited edition bundle comes in a very special Cirrus White 500 gigabyte console. So you get the X, the white Xbox One and a white controller, plus you get Quantum Break uh, at no additional cost as part as a digital download. What we want to be able to do is for folks that do buy Quantum Break, we want to be able to allow them to get some extra bonus content. So first, they'll get uh, Alan Wake uh, for via backward compatibility. Uh, whether they buy it in the bundle, or they buy it as a standalone game. We've also included both the downloadable content that came with Alan Wake. So they'll get the, the writer and the signal, uh, which were great uh, DLCs as part of that package. Aaron, there's also another exciting pre-order available as well, right? There is. We've included tons of great content for folks that do buy and pre-order Quantum Break, uh, both at participating retailers, as well as digitally through our Xbox store. You will, in addition to everything I mentioned, we're also now including American Nightmare, which is a great Alan Wake uh, Xbox Live Arcade standalone title that uh, many fans may or may not have played, but we think will be a great bonus for them. Now also in here is we have the Windows 10 version. We do, and so, you know, Remedy has a deep history of bringing their titles uh, to the PC, and so we're excited to let, uh, you know, gamers, no matter if they're primarily on the console or play on the PC or they play on both, to experience Quantum Break. Uh, so we will be launching it on April 5th. Uh, it is available for pre-order uh, today on Xbox One. Uh, but in addition to that, if you play the game on Xbox One or you play the game on Windows 10, your saves will be synced from one version to the other. I want to point out something really important though, because it's, it's, this is critical for folks, is that if you purchase the Xbox One version for a specific amount of time, you're going to get the Windows 10 version 
at no cost. That is true. So one of the things we were able to do, this is something uh, specific to our Xbox store. So if you buy the title digitally and you pre-order it uh, through your Xbox One, you'll also get the Windows 10 version for free only during that pre-order period. And it's something we really were trying out. We want to let our fans be able to experience. But we said, listen, hey, we know we're bringing this, uh, this title both to Xbox One and Windows 10. So why not just give you the Windows 10 version for free, let you continue and play. If you're at home in the living room, you play through the first act, great. You may be at work or you may be on the road and you want to continue, pick up where you left off. It'll automatically allow you to do that. Your controllers also work, by the way, which is great. Uh, or if you want to play the keyboard and mouse, you can do that as well. So we're excited to be able to give gamers the flexibility to play Quantum Break no matter where they are. And that all happens April 5th. Aaron Greenberg from Xbox Marketing. Thank you, Aaron. Gamescom's Xbox briefing gave us a solid look at the trippy, time-bending gameplay of Quantum Break. It also revealed that some very familiar faces have been added to the cast of this unusual game-slash-TV series hybrid. Now in a minute, we'll be joined by the game's creative director and one of the stars of Quantum Break to tell us more. Joining wow. us now are Sam Lake, the creative director of Remedy and star, Sean Hi guys. That's gonna be good. Nice. Welcome guys. I'm so <laughs> glad to have you up here in the booth overlooking the show floor. What do you think so far? Amazing. Yeah, everything's big, now, it's all happening. Have you been to Gamescom before? This is my first time. Okay, so saying, Sam and I have done it mi millions of times. I know, you guys time. You guys are pros at this. I'm just taking it in. It's incredible. The excitement's amazing. Uh, the feedback from Quantum Break's been amazing, so it's been yes. a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, mean, I want to talk to you, Sam, a little about this cast, because you have an incredible cast of characters. Why don't you go through it? I mean, clearly, we got one already. Right Let's I talk mean, about Sean yep. is our hero, Chuck Choice. Yep. Dominic Monaghan. Uh, Chuck's uh, scientist brother, William. Uh, Aidan Gillen is Paul Serene, the main bad guy, and Lance Reddick, Serene's right-hand man, Mr. Hatch, and many other great actors. Oh. It's, it is a dream come true. It is, I, it's, it's hard for me to still believe that, that it's <laughs> happening. Let's, let's talk about gameplay. What is the gameplay like? I've, we've seen this, but can you explain it to us? And yeah. Sure, I mean, it is a remedy game. So a cinematic, story-driven action game. There are adventure sequences in there. Um, what are we seeing here on screen right now? Well, time is breaking down. Yeah. And this manifests as stutters in time, frozen moments three, six, that can seven. shift and collapse without warning, and broken timelines caught in violent loops. Everybody freezes when time stops, but Jack has time powers. Uh, so he can function, and, and the enemy, Monarch Solutions, LE Troop, have this experimental Cronon technology that allows them to operate there. The player has multiple time powers uh, that they gain as they progress through the game, sure. and, and as Jack's powers grow. grow. Oh, so Sean, tell us a little bit about your character, because we want to hear more about this. Because, I yeah. mean, obviously the story is kind of told from different perspectives, so we see all the different sides. So what can you tell us about yours? I mean, just ignore what you're not supposed to say, just tell us. No, I can, I can say everything, I can go. say everything. Yeah, um, it's fine, no one's listening. Like Sam said, I play a character named Jack Joyce, who's yeah. sort of, um, you know, I guess the hero of the game. And he's the playable character. Uh, and really, it's sort of, and we've talked about this a lot, uh, Jack Joyce's origin story. Um, you know, when this time experiment goes wrong, Jack is within the vicinity of this time travel experiment and so basically is affected by it and gains these time manipulation powers. So, you know, he sort of has these superhero abilities, but he's not uh, a superhero. What I loved about the character is he's an every everyday guy that's put into an extraordinary situation. So that was exciting from a gameplay perspective because he's got all these like superhero abilities, but uh, as an actor, as a character, you get to bring sort of like an everyday uh, reaction to that and what would it be like to experience this yourself, you know? So very fun, very interesting and, and uh, an in-depth character. I mean, are there any like, I mean, aside from the fact you probably have to run a lot more lines and make weird grunty sounds, yeah. I mean, what are some of the kind of biggest differences between you know, doing a film and doing a game? You know, um, in a grand scale of things, it's not that different. I mean, I approach the character and the performance as if I was making a film or a television series, and everybody at Remedy, including Sam, was very uh, collaborative about you know wanting to bring an in-depth performance and character and story to, to Quantum Break. The big difference for me was doing motion capture for the first time. Yeah. So oh. being in the spandex suits with like the motion capture. How did capture, it feel? Bizarre. 
now. Kind of, kind of nice. You have, you have little white balls uh, all over yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, markers around. everywhere. You know, spandex, superhero. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of, yeah. I'm, I'm, a little, I'm, I'm used to the tight leather in X-Men, <laughs> but the spandex is a little different. Um, so that was the biggest the biggest challenge. And honestly, you're in a, in a real, uh, uh, in a, I guess a, a warehouse, essentially, with all these cameras. You're not in the actual reality. If you're shooting a film, the props are there. Uh, everything is there for you. So there's a lot of extra imagination that needs to be used. But at the end of the day, you're there with the actors. You can look them in the eye, you talk yeah. to them, you're performing as if you're on stage, essentially. So uh, it's not that different from uh, from making a film or a television show, really. But just some grunting as well, right? Yeah, well, a lot of like running. Running after being shot, <laughs> running after being burned, running after falling down. There's a bunch of varieties of like running, running and climbing and jumping. So it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Sam, I want to talk to you about, there's, there's a TV component and the game component. Tell me how the two work together. Right, so. There are different points of view, different perspectives into this one story. Uh, and, and in the game you play Jack. Uh, in the show you follow the other side of the story, what's happening in the enemy camp inside Monarch. So, uh, you know, game is about hero, show is about villains. Uh, and, and how the whole experience is structured, you play through an act of the game, culminates in what we are calling a junction moment where you actually briefly play the bad guy who has this power to see glimpses of different futures and decide which future comes to be. Cool. So as the player you make a choice and then we unlock an episode of the show which is oh, okay. more or less uh, you know network television length without commercials 22 yep. minutes. Yep. We have shot a lot of alternate content so it's your version based on your choice. Mm. What's true? and then go to the beginning of the next act of the game. Great, Sam, Sean, thanks guys. Thank you.